You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, we have some news, a little bit different news, I would say, on the NFL front. Carl Nassab, defensive end for the Oakland Raiders, has come out and announced today that he is gay. He's in the men. He's actually the first active NFL player, I believe, in history that has actually come out and said that he is gay. He made an announcement out on Instagram, and we're actually going to uh, watch his uh, little Instagram post here. And I want to give you uh, my thoughts on this, on what I actually think about um, him actually coming out as gay. So let's go over here. Let's check it out here on Outkick. Raiders Carl Nassab becomes first active NFL, NFL player to come out as gay. And here is the video here. And we're going to watch it here together. And uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Here we go. What's up, people? I'm Carl Nassib. I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Um, I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. Um, I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. Um, I actually hope that like one day videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Um, but until then, you know, I'm going to do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. And I'm going to start by donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project. They're an incredible organization. They're the number one suicide prevention service for LGBTQ youth in America. And they're truly doing incredible things. And I'm very excited to be a part of it to help in any way that I can. And I'm really pumped to see what the future holds. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a great day. Work hard. Okay, there you have it, guys. So he has come out as gay. What is my thoughts on this? My thoughts on it really is I really don't care. I don't care. He has not been the first uh, NFL player that's actually gay. Well, he's the first one that's actually come out. But I don't think this is really much of much of anything, really. But my concern is is the sports media will make this a big deal. You know, we've actually seen this in the past, folks, because look over here. ESPN already has it as breaking news. NASA first active NFL player to come out as gay. And he says he's a private person, but yet he still actually announced that he was actually uh, gay. That's his business. I don't really care. Uh, it's a whole bunch of nothing to me, if you ask me. But ESPN has weaponized stories like this before. They have. You remember Michael Sam. Now, Michael Sam didn't actually make an active NFL roster. That's why NASAB is the first active, active uh, NFL player to actually come out as gay. I remember watching that draft. Michael Sam, seven-round pick. ESPN was just all over it. They were just overblowing everything. And it had nothing to do with Michael Sam actually being able to play. And we come to find out, folks, Michael Sam, he couldn't play in the NFL. He could not do it. And uh, there was rumors, you know, going around that the NFL was making calls to um, to teams to draft Michael Sam. And uh, he ended up getting drafted in the seventh round, but he could not make an NFL, NFL roster because he couldn't play. Now, Carl Nassab, obviously... He can play. He's been in the NFL, I believe, now for three seasons. He's still with the Raiders. He can play. Now, if I was, you know, the sports media, I would just leave it at that. But ESPN has proven that they will not leave it at that. You remember when uh, Bruce Jenner actually came out and said, well, I'm Caitlyn Jenner. They end up giving uh, Caitlyn Jenner a Courage Award at the ESPYs. It was um, a bunch of virtue signaling. It was... They were just weaponizing the whole thing. It was propaganda. The same thing what they did with Michael Sam. They're going to make this thing out to be a bigger deal than what it is. And they're probably going to end up using Carl Nassab at this point to push all of this. When people watch the NFL, when they watch their sports, they don't care about any of this stuff. I believe this is really going to be a non-story on the field. Maybe his teammates have already knew, knew that he was gay. 
I don't actually see the big deal of him actually coming out and announcing that he's gay. There's gay people. We know that. That's nothing new. There's been gay people in sports. Now, he's the first one that actively came out and said that he was gay. But I just don't think this is much of a big deal. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys actually think this is really a big deal? Do you expect companies like ESPN to weaponize this? I fully expect ESPN to weaponize this. Just wait until tomorrow. Check out our first take on some other shows, too. Trust me, it will be weaponized. They'll probably end up trying to uh, give Carl Nassab some kind of an SB just for coming out and saying that he's gay. They probably will. They've done it before. And I'm pretty sure, you know, that ESPN will do this again, folks. But to me, this is really not too much. Sorry about the noise. It's storming and raining here. Dogs barking. But I'm going to wrap up this uh, video here. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Is this a big deal? Is this a nothing burger? I really think it's just a nothing burger. This is nothing, folks. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.